And I think it's been an absolutely superb rally. Gives an indication of some of the anger which is starting to boil over. And I bring the fraternal greetings of my union, PCS. And one of the things that PCS is very proud of is our opposition to all cuts. And I'm also proud that as one of the founding unions of the Bristol and District Anti-Cuts Alliance, we also brought that position to the organisation and the fight of, Br of Baddeker Bristol Anti District Anti-Cuts Alliance. Because if you don't hold that position, you end up in a situation where you have a bidding war. And you turn up and you speak to the councillors and they say, well, if you don't like that cut, you name us another cut that we can make which actually uh, resolves the issue. And the point is, no cuts. We don't want to say, I'm going to put that person out of work or I'm going to put that one person out on the street. We want to fight all of these cuts. These cuts will have a devastating effect on this city. Marvin Rees spoke all the way through his campaign about how he was going to do something about inequality in this city. How he was going to redress the lack of access of many of the people who live in Hartcliffe, Withywood, Lawrence Weston, Avonmouth, all of the peripheral areas. This city is hugely wealthy, one of the wealthiest in this country. The people who run this city rake in millions in profit year after year. It's about time we had representatives in that city council chamber that said, enough is enough, we say no. Look what uh, Surrey County Council did. They threatened a referendum. Just a referendum it wasn't actually a demonstration or a protest or a mass mobilisation of anything. They threatened a referendum of, of uh, residents of Surrey. The government capitulated and have given Surrey more money. Why can't those councillors say no, no and no again? Fight for the people of Bristol. Fight for what is ours. Those are the services that we want and we hold dear. Libraries, social services, housing, all of those things, education and all the things we've spoken about. And a decent transport system most of all. And the buses back in our control in this city. Let's fight. Let's be here on Tuesday. Let's show that we mean business. And a, a, a different future is possible. It is possible to defeat the cuts. If all of the Labour councils in the country said we're not cutting anything, we want more money from the government. What could the government do? They'd be powerless. They'd have to capitulate. And it's been said to me by several Labour councillors, oh, we couldn't do it. If we went, it would be like going over the top in the First World War. We'd all be massacred. We would have no effect. On the contrary, it would have an enormous effect because it would raise the issue of standing up to the cuts. It would give confidence to people and other councillors across the country who are feeling a similar position. And on that basis, we could build a mass campaign, not just in Bristol, but across the country, which would sweep the Tories from power. If Labour are serious about winning the elections in 2020, then they better not allow themselves to be used to carry through Tory cuts. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this a success. Let's go forward and let's defeat these cuts and let's defeat the Tories. Cheers. Yay! Fantastic. Thanks very much. That was a great uh, final.